What's good you guys, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we're talking about the latest update to the August 2024 Retro or Air Jordan lineup. We got some new additions and some dates have been moved around. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hit the like button, leave some feedback. Let's get into the shoes, you dig? The first Jordan we're going to speak about is the Jordan Tatum 2, which drops August 2nd for a retail price of $120. This is pretty much a bright crimson colorway, majority white shoe with bright crimson and black accents all over it. The Tatum 2s have definitely been impressive. I've tried these on and for me, with a narrow foot, they're more true to size if you guys are looking forward to picking these up. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the Tatum 2 overall and do you own any so far in your collection. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 6 Olympic dropping August 3rd for a retail price of 200 bucks such a classic shoe in my opinion one of the best jordan sixes ever made these were originally introduced in the 2000 sydney olympics they come in white varsity red and midnight navy as the color scheme that midnight navy upper with the white overlays and red accents is just the perfect color combination for me let me know if you guys like this classic shoe right here you have the white midsole of course the navy overlays and then you have the translucent outsole also this is a flawless shoe $200 for men $160 for grade school $100 for preschool and $85 for toddlers do you see yourself picking up this classic retro? I own the pair from 2012, so I definitely look forward to picking this one up as well. Staying with the Jordan 6 retro, we have a women's exclusive Air Jordan 6 Pearl, AKA Olympic, which is dropping August 7th for a retail price of 200 bucks. Now these feature pure platinum, metallic gold, coconut milk, and glacier blue. I've seen these in person already. They are fire. The whole upper is based in a suede material. Then you have the Olympic gold touches on the midsole and lace lock with the gold hint. I like these shoes. They look good for women. I'm curious to see what the response will be. They do come with pearl on the laces, some pearls that add a little flair to the shoe. I want to see what the response will be. Ladies watching this, is this something you could see grabbing them? They do not come in extended sizes for the men out there who might have been interested, but they do retail for 200 bucks for women. Then you have GS sizes or preschool sizes for 90, and then the toddler sizes are $75 on these. Let me know your overall opinion about this Jordan 6, and do you see yourself adding it to your collection? Next up on August 8th for a retail price of 160 bucks, we have the Nigel Sylvester Air Jordan 4 RM driveway gray this colorway is definitely unique and i like the way the shoe looks now this upcoming air jordan 4 rm driveway gray features a striking anthracite university red and white color scheme the shoe is dominated in the anthracite gray upper extending to the tpu cage that wraps around the heel offering more of a sleek and modern look adding a touch of contrast is the bike air branding on the heel which a lot of people are liking and portions of the midsole have that crisp white university red visible uh air unit I'm a big fan of this shoe. Don't own one in my collection yet, but maybe at some point I will. But let me know what you guys think about the collaboration between Nigel Sylvester and Nike. Are you guys picking up any of these? Now, there are a few more colorways of the Air Jordan 4 RM that we will talk about shortly, but let's get back to some more retros. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Gold, which releases August 10th for a retail price of 180 bucks. As you can see, they feature black, metallic gold, and sell as a color scheme, having that black base with the metallic gold overlays and the white midsole. Let me know if this is a colorway that you can see yourself picking up. I know the buzz for Air Jordan 1s have not really been there for people, but this is a nice colorway and I'm curious to see what the materials will look like. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the Jordan 1 overall and this one in particular. The next retro we're going to talk about is the Air Jordan 13 Midnight Navy, which is dropping August 10th for a retail price of 200 bucks. These feature white, Midnight Navy, and gum light brown as the color scheme. I like how this one is laid out for sure. As you can see, these come with a white tumble leather upper, of course, with the iconic dimples. Then you have the Midnight Navy suede overlays on the heels and mud guards. The Jumpman logo on the tongue also has the navy blue hit as well. I'm a big fan of Jordan 13s, and this colorway is crazy. You got the white laces, the tongue, the toe box, the signature hologram on the ankle. Then you have the gum outsole trim. I think these are really fire. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these 13s. Do you see him sitting or will you be picking up a pair? Now, as you guys know, Jordan Brand continues to honor Michael Jordan's diverse interest in a lot of things. This kid's exclusive, this is a grade school exclusive Air Jordan 3 motto. It's definitely one that pays tribute to his passion for motor sports, incorporating the bold design and dynamic colorway. 
This grade school exclusive Air Jordan 3 Moto drops August 16th for a retail price of 150 bucks. They feature black, hyper jade, white, and siren red as the color scheme. If these came in men's sizes, would you guys scoop them up? I do like the color combination for sure. The black dominant upper with all the accents is just fire in my opinion. The upper is constructed with premium black tumbled leather, giving it a sleek, robust appearance. Hyper J accents on the iconic elephant print overlays. Why don't they do this stuff for men's pair? You know what I mean? Siren red detailing on the eyelids and Jumpman logo adds some vibrancy to the shoe. Then of course you have the uh, racing fingerprint on the back heels make these things pretty dope man let me know your overall opinion on these like i said earlier if they were in men's sizes would you add a pair to your collection next up we got the classic air jordan 11 low this time it's the diffuse blue colorway dropping august 17th for the retail price of 190 bucks these come in white midnight navy diffuse blue and football gray as the color scheme and these are pretty impressive as well I feel like these are perfect for the summertime. You have the white midnight navy diffuse blue and football gray all over the shoe. The white breathable mesh as you see. Then you have the diffuse blue patent leather mud guards and inner lining and tongue branding. Of course the clean midsole that comes in white and the translucent outsole like we see on all Air Jordan 11 lows. Let me know if this is a colorway you can see adding to your collection. You know 190 is a little pricey but the colorway is fire nonetheless. Earlier in the video, I talked about the Air Jordan 4 RM and we do have more colorways to get to. We're gonna talk about those right now. First, we have the Air Jordan 4 RM that comes in black, light bone, and dark gray. Then we have the women's exclusive Air Jordan 4 RM oxidized green. Then finally, we have the Air Jordan 4 RM legend light brown. This also is a women's exclusive colorway. Both of these are actually all three of these retail for 150 bucks. All of these are dropping on August 21st. Can you see yourself picking up any one of these colorways? I do like the women's exclusive oxidized green. I think that one's gonna be really nice in hand, but give me your overall opinion on the Air Jordan 4 RM. However, also dropping on August 21st is the Amamanier Air Jordan 3 Burgundy Crush. These will retail for 250 bucks, featuring Summit White, Burgundy Crush, Deep Future, and Muslin as the color scheme. Unfortunately, still no official releases yet of this shoe, but this mock-up is pretty interesting and it looks pretty accurate to what I'm hearing the shoe will look like. Let me know if this is something that you guys are excited for. The white base with the burgundy crush on the elephant print I think is really nice, but they do have a black colorway that I like a little bit more, actually a lot more. Also dropping on the 21st for that same retail price of 250, the Ama Mayer Air Jordan 3 Black. These feature black, flak pewter, violent ore as the color scheme. These are a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Do you see yourself going after these Ama Mayer Jordan collaborations? This one by far is one of the best. Following that collaboration, we move on to another one. This is the Jordan Jumpman Jack TR Taupe Haze, which is releasing August 22nd for a retail price of 200 bucks. Now these feature Taupe Haze, Sale, Thunder Blue, and Gum Light Brown as the color scheme. And as the recording of this video, still only mock-up images of him, but it's said to have the Taupe Haze upper accented with the Thunder Blue backward swoosh on the side that we're known to see with Travis Scott's. These are not too bad. They look pretty interesting. I have seen a couple pair on feet. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Jordan Jumpman Jack TR and do you see yourself adding this to your collection? From one anticipated shoe to another highly anticipated shoe, on August 24th for the retail price of 215 bucks, we finally get the Air Jordan 4 White Thunder. Now, of course, these come in black and white as the color scheme, with black dominating the shoe and white being the accident color. These are very interesting. I'm loving the materials that they're using. I can see myself grabbing a pair. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to them. They priced at 215 for men, 160 for grade school, 100 for preschool, and $85 for toddlers. These can match and go with anything. And of course, that black new buck is gonna be some pretty good materials. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to this one. Are you guys adding this to your Thunder collection? Or is this gonna be your first Thunder series shoe? In my opinion, I think all of the Thunders look good. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 17 Low University Blue releasing August 28th for the retail price of 300 bucks. Now that's the price that's kind of crazy. I do believe they come with the suitcase again. White University Blue, you can never go wrong with that on an Air Jordan sneaker. $300 is really the question. Let me know what you guys think about these. Of course, they're gonna have really good premium leather as we know in the 17s to have in the past, especially for that $300 price point. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the Air Jordan 17 in the comments below.
Next on the list, dropping August 29th for a resale price of 140 bucks, is the Air Jordan 1 Low Women's Exclusive Oxidized Green. Now this oxidized green has been looking nice on some of these shoes. I think this is clean right here. This right here would definitely set it off for the fall or winter vibes. A clean white shoe. These feature white oxidized green and sell as the color scheme for sure. You can expect these to have some premium leather materials on the upper. We have that gum outsole almost giving me the vibes of the SB4s, but that's just my opinion. Let me know if you guys are excited for these and can see yourself picking these up. Next up, wrapping up the month of August on the 31st for a retail price of $200 is the Air Jordan 3 Cement gray very classic shoe that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a very long time these come in summit white fire red cement gray and black as the color scheme as you can see they have a white tumbled leather upper you have the black and gray elephant print on the toe box eyelids around the heel as well gray outsole very clean shoe right here the red accents pop out just perfectly let me know if you guys are a fan of this air jordan 3 cement gray releasing August 31st for a retail price of $200. Let me know your honest feedback about the month of August when it comes to these retros. Are there some must haves? I definitely think those white thunders is something that a lot of people were going for. Maybe one of the I'm on my years as well. Give me your feedback on the shoes you've seen in this video. Of course, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe as we're on our road to 10K. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, I'm about to get out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.